The president began the day with a meeting with the Association of Forex Bureau Owners, who the president described as key players in helping stabilize the city. The association says recent depreciation of the city is artificial and can be halted. Here is the president of the association, KT Dadzi. With the announcement that we were even meeting yesterday, the risk started coming down. It means it's not natural. It's all this, this is all being done by people speculating and trying to make rainfall out of the situation that we are in. I hope this meeting too will help. And I can tell you from what happened yesterday to today that it's already stabilizing. We are here to hear what, Mr. President, you have for us, we are team, and through the, our regulators, we do what is needful to force, to, to solve this serious problem that you can't even open the radio and not hear in Ghana being discussed as if it's a failed state. President Kufado on his part pledged government commitment to collapse the black market, which he says has caused the city depreciation. But one thing that I think is very important for us to, to address, the initial impulse, my understanding, the initial impulse for the creation of the Forex bureaus was at the time when our economy was opening up and liberalizing. And, and, and trying to find a mechanism for putting an end to black market operations on our currency. That was the initial impulse. So we would have these forex bureaus regulated by the Bank of Ghana, but which would make access to foreign exchange in a regulated and controlled manner easier. Unfortunately, somehow, this initial motivation for the creation of the forest bureaus has still not materialized. The black market, and you hear public commentators, it is commentators of the Bank of Ghana itself and others say, this is still the black market that is basically driving both the supply as well as the rate of our foreign exchange transactions. That is, for me, completely unacceptable. And we have to find a way to work together to drive the black market out of, uh, out of business so that the, the formal sector, in terms of the banks, in terms of the forex uh, bureaus, can be the proper avenue for dealing with foreign exchange transactions in our country. But in a situation where a country's critical commodity, like its currency, is in the hands of black market operators. That's a very dangerous situation for any country. The next group to meet the president was the Greater Accra Market Women Association. Their president, Messi Na Afowa Nijan, says they are prepared to help government stabilize the economy. Ninka ah, test of face to anate. Jala fe jalana, ninka ming papai. Press be a banami. Ninka makese le wonga. Casto senga, makese wonga. Ewa market pe market, agbele jala. Ni ewe ning. One reason, wani be a PG perishables. Ni be ni fitio. Ni agbene ka kun fe no ko pe ko fe no ko ni le aka involve another association ne sani be ne pe o e chele she enye take decision ni ka 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 wo shino e wo jala fe jala agbele ni nyongo dro mo wo gbele ni wo ho ni wo se ni ye nche mi npa bo fai ni a so e ke wo nwa he e ke wo ho ke ko wo na wo da ma fi o e wo ka wo te na che no ka ba wo ba che no Ghana 
na ka kanto ka kanto kuyo na ta wo solution she anye afite noko ka sa noko the Ghana Employers Association was also at the Jubilee House to meet the president. The final group to meet President Akufado was the Trade Union Congress, the TUC. Secretary General Dr. Yaoban says government should fast track measures aimed at mitigating the plight of Ghanaians in the face of economic challenges. President Akufado reiterated his resolve to take the country out of the current challenges. We're looking for an agreement that addresses important short, medium term, but ultimately also that will strengthen the long term aspirations that all of us have for the structural transformation of our economy. Because it is in there which is the long term guarantee of the prosperity of our people and of our nation.